Thank you very much, Mel. Yeah, we may be in the midst of the winter doldrums, but things are buzzing at City Hall these days. We're dealing with a host of issues. The deep freeze, getting the homeless off the streets, keeping transit moving, and trying to get affordable housing built. And Mayor John Tory is here to talk about those and other matters. We're going to sum up the entire city in the span of four minutes. Mayor, can you, you ready? We'll do our best. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about transit and what we're seeing with this cold and what's going on with that. So, any plans to try and alleviate when we have well, these days Well, they're trying like hard. I mean, they had people out literally in this cold last night trying to keep these switches going. But we built our subways, for better or for worse, with some outdoor portions, and that's where we're having some of the troubles. Mm -hmm. uh, the Scarborough RT is obsolete. I mean, we're trying to replace it very hard with the subway. I've, I've tried to put that through. We've had 11 votes at City Council, and people don't want to give up who are opposed to it. But we're putting a subway there, so it is underground. Um, and so, so it's one of these things you just have to sort of work away and do your best, and I get the frustration totally. Uh, but these are extraordinary days. When I see them lighting the tracks on fire in Chicago, Chicago yeah. you know that people are resorting to extraordinary measures. So the thing is, build new transit, uh, keep uh, the current transit in good repair, and do everything you can when you have this extraordinary weather, and we're trying to do all that. And short term with things like this, is there anything that can be done when we see these, these temperatures that we're seeing? Well, I mean, yes, you just have to sort of, even, I mean, I, I'm looking at the uh, lighting the tracks on fire and saying, well, should we be looking at that, though, to keep these signals going? Because it's, they're just frozen. And so in that sense, I think they're always looking for new things they can do, even things that harken back to uh, days of old, pouring kerosene on the tracks and stuff. And, uh, but they just have to be more and more diligent, and our, our people do a great job, but it's uh, obviously, uh, you know, we can do better. Okay, let's talk about your housing program, uh, getting the, the go-ahead yesterday, and some people saying it's not enough, it'll be about a third of the housing will be affordable housing that could be built, Yeah. and some people saying we need more than that. Well, we do need more, uh, but I've been very clear in saying that the thing that was approved yesterday, which was huge, Roger, people know the St. Lawrence community that was built many years ago. Mm -hmm. This is bigger than that in terms of the number of affordable housing units, uh, but it's only a first step. It's something that's being done in the first eight weeks of this council's term and I said we're going to have more and more and more projects like this to build thousands of these affordable housing units but the significant part of this 11 pieces of city land that we're moving forward to build mixed income communities including uh, more than 3,000 in fact almost 4,000 affordable housing units including some deeply affordable ones a uh, rents of four or five hundred dollars a month for people who are very low income so I'm proud of it as a first step uh, I'm proud that it got a very big mandate at the city council yesterday and now we're going to get on with it, which is what people really want. They don't want to see it passed, and then two years from now we're going, yeah, yeah, you know, we're just about ready to do that. We're going to get this done. Will there be guarantees that uh, the ones that are affordable will stay affordable? Yes, because we're doing two things I think the public would like. First, we're leasing the land, not selling it in, in all, almost all the cases, I think, although this is subject to bidding. And the second thing is the affordability part will go with the 99-year lease. So the land will be leased to whoever builds the building for 99 years, and the affordable apartments will be required to be maintained as affordable for 99 years. So they're, they're, they're locked in, but yes. there's still lots more to be done. Lots more to be done. I acknowledge that. Uh, housing of all kinds, including, I should say, supportive housing. One of the reasons we have a big problem in the shelter system and with homelessness is because people with mental illness are not uh, getting the support they need and not having places to go other than a shelter. A shelter is no place for somebody with mental illness. They're not getting the professional support they need. And so I have uh, spent time in Ottawa this week talking to everybody from the Prime Minister on down about the need for support supportive housing and for us to have a real crusade. I've said 1,800 units per year for the next 10 years, which would, I think, make a dent in the problem that wouldn't solve it entirely. Is that, are those expenses something that should be shared, not even just when you're looking at Queen's Park in Ottawa, maybe regional as well? I mean, well, did you hear stories about, you know, in the, you're, you're, I went to a shelter a week or so ago and I was talking to the people and asking them how they came to the shelter. Uh, and first of all, they would tell me almost inevitably they had some mental illness or addiction mm -hmm. problem. But the second thing they'd say is, I'm from Hamilton, I'm from, uh, you know, London, they're being I'm told from to come the here. north. Yeah. Well, they're not being told as much as they know we have an extra level of service here because we're a big city. And so they just know that they can get support here, whereas in some of the places they come from, there wouldn't be a shelter or, or one big enough to accommodate them. So that's part of the problem. Problem, but really what we have to do is build the supportive housing and build more affordable housing so that people don't have to be in shelters and of course address this ongoing refugee uh, challenge that we have in serving those people. Is the money that we're getting, is that enough to help with that? It's a start uh, and I've indicated it's not enough but I think the federal government has been dealing with us in good faith. I talked to Mr. Blair when I was in Ottawa and we're obviously anxious to get the, the support that is equal to the challenge that has been posed by the number of these refugees and asylum claimants we're caring for. Uh, so we're still discussing that and they're acting in very good faith in terms of trying to help us with that challenge. Okay, Mayor, thank you very much for joining us today. It was a pleasure.